what made you ghost a friend? Anyone else on this post looking for the reason someone may have ghosted them? Colon. Yes. It's been a few years but it haunts me to this day. They were like a family member to me. I just want to know what drove them away. I'd give anything to have that friendship back. When I came home to find the power off. Bill hadn't been paid. We were friends from work. He had split up from his ex and I needed to be closer to work. We went 50-50 on a rental. He has three kids from the previous relationship. With me being the nerd I agreed to pay the tech bills. Internet. Phone. Cable TV. He agreed to pay the power as he burnt more because his kids were over on access visits. Came home. Dark house. Hmm. Investigate. He hadn't paid the power for ages because his new girlfriend wanted the money. Then I discovered he wasn't paying his rent either. Same reason. Down $5,000. Power. Rent. We were evicted. Ghosted. That's just unacceptable. Yerp. I had him contact me on the book of faces. Can we talk? Quote. Sure. Send me a $5,000 bank check. And we're on. Quote. Dot. I had a guy who did similar to me. When living in a student share house. But for a much lower amount thank God. Before we kicked him out he was using his parents business card to buy stuff for other housemates for which they gave him cash to use to pay rent and bills. Still left us owed a month's rent and bills. After he left my place he must have told his parents some sob story about us. Because they set him up renting their investment property with three other students. About eight months later the parents arrived at the door one morning ready to evict all four tenants for no payment of the rent. Turns out the others had been giving rent to the son but he had not been paying it to the parents for about six months. Years later he came into the pub I was running and was surprised when I told him not to come back unless he had the money he still owed. He gave me $100 that day but still owed plenty. Too much drama told a sob story in order to garner sympathy points, story didn't check out and no one believed her so she got even more angry about it. Decided to book it because her stories and blame games were getting too much for me. I was really good friends with this girl in 5th grade. Or so I thought. When we first met we got along really well but I started noticing after 2 years that she would go hang out with me when I was with my guy friends pretend that she was there to hang out with me, push me to the side, and flirt with my guy friends. Now, obviously I could tell that her actions made my guy friends uncomfortable. So I confronted her about it. And she just said in front of my guy friends, I don't know you. Why are you here? After that, I stopped inviting her to hang out and she pleaded for forgiveness but I just ignored her. That sounds extremely toxic. I'm glad you let that one go. Only get ghosted. Finger guns. Edit. Rip my inbox so many relatable people. Actually same. Exactly why I made this post lol. Yo that's so sad. I'm sorry. That's alright. Y'all didn't ghost me. They're political Facebook posts that always ended with. If you don't agree with this. Then you can just unfriend me. Deuces. Anybody else read this as, what made you a ghost friend? Quote. My bad trigger to chipline. I wish that's what I had actually wrote. She flirted with me and didn't stop. I have a GF and I didn't need that drama. Her fiancé was arrested and did jail time for possession of child PY. When he got out, she married him and talked about how excited she was to have children with him. Edit, I understand that people are concerned about any children that are born to these people. I'm concerned too. That said, I cut off contact with her six years ago. I can't FB stalk her due to her privacy settings. I also moved a few time zones away so I'm not in the same social circle as her anymore either. All I can do is hope that the people who are still in her orbit do their due diligence. It sucks. But that's the option available to me. Did she just pretend that it didn't happen? Like what?
she understood his reasons and supported him in working through his own past trauma in the way that helped him. Woof. I'm all for supporting people reintegrating into society. But. Maybe don't bring up the having kids thing in public? Or private? Or at all? He failed to care for my dogs when dog sitting. Pick of them. Sami. I was getting super close to an old friend from college. His new wife and their kids. We were going out of town for like a week and asked them to dog sit. It was the worst case scenario. They neglected my FG dogs. There was at least two days where they didn't get let out of fed and left my younger dog in his kennel for like 24 hours. When I asked why there was PS and ST in his cage their response was, if I had known it was there I would have cleaned it up. Like. You're missing the point man. I'm not mad I had to clean it up. I'm mad that you neglected my dogs. He never went potty in the house. Let alone his kennel. I was livid. And if that wasn't enough the house was a wreck. They took like $40 out of our change jar. Let her kid lose all the pieces to my vacuum. Let her kid play with a pound container of garlic salt and spill it everywhere. Don't worry. She swept it underneath the couch. They used up all our tea and coffee. And put a whole pot of macaroni down the garbage disposal giving us plumbing problems to this day. For months it was like finding little shitty cherries on top as I discovered yet another shitty thing they did. Edit. This got a lot more attention than I was expecting. I dropped them immediately and we never spoke again. They didn't really show signs of being shitty before this happened and had their own cat that they took very good care of. Holy FGST. Exactly the same ST that I went through. Minus the theft. House was a mess. We went shopping for them and put 300 bucks in groceries in the house for them but they still ended up eating 200 bucks in prime beef from my deep freezer. In a week. We found ST on the floor. Under our towels. Instead of. You know. Being normal and picking it up. He just tossed towels on it. I have cameras covering the entire outside of my house. And the common areas inside. I reviewed the cameras and saw that he'd barricade himself away from the dogs and play video games while they begged to go outside. They ring a bell for that. And broke into fights and laid around bored. It was infuriating and heart-wrenching. These dogs are like my children. They sleep with us. And they protect us. I try to travel with them but this trip was too far to drive. Three days each way hard driving. Ho dn. That's some entitled bullshit. Here I stocked the fridge for you. Haha <laughs> no thanks. Wear that prime shit. When you realize that they're never really there for you and your friendship only breeds passive aggressiveness and envy. I have a friend who I probably should have stopped talking to long before I did but his escapades include. Slept with my ex of three years a week or so after we broke up. Got really handsy with my sister. Against her will. At my 21st. Just being a general creep to girls for a long time. Edit. To clarify. I do not talk to this person anymore and these were the events that definitely turned the tide almost immediately. There were other, less serious things prior. Depression. Keeping up communication is rough sometimes. A day of not replying to a message can become a week when you don't know how to explain that you just couldn't be around people that day. Which can become a month when it always seems impossible to reach out and explain where you've been. Thankfully my friends are the understanding sort and don't give me too hard a time. But I still feel like an AE. Hey if they understand. I don't believe that you're an AE and I doubt they think you are either. As adults sometimes it's just ST happens. Whenever I would talk about feeling stressed and my mental health not being in an optimal condition. She would say something along the lines of, oh come on. You don't have actual problems. There are people out there that actually have depression, anxiety, etc. She always downplayed the struggles I would be going through just because it wasn't the worst possible thing that could happen. Edit. I never thought this would receive so much support. Thank you everyone for your kind words. This means a lot. I hate a, it could be worse person. If it bothers you.
hurt you. It's valid and important. I hope you found a better friend. He FG molested me while a group of us guys shared a hotel room together. She was controlling and judgmental. A couple of months after my grandfather died, he raised me. She was hounding me to go out to the club because I needed to get over it. Slowly faded myself out after that. She didn't handle it well though. Showed up at my house asking my grandmother where I was. Left a note on my car. Nope. Massive amounts of negative energy. Nobody likes an energy vampire. Absolutely draining. Me and a group of people were giving our opinions on something and when I gave mine my friend said I was acting all high and mighty and that I never knew what I was talking about. Felt nice. That's so weird to single you out like that over an opinion. I'm shy so st like that makes me not want to talk at all. Glad you removed yourself from that nonsense. He became obsessed with me telling me he loved me and things in front of my friends. Basically acting as if I was his girlfriend. Became super angry and jealous whenever I talked to my other friends. Guys. Told me that when I visited him. He was in the US I am in Canada. I would have to sleep in his bed. After I made it very clear we were not nor ever will be a thing. He then started reaching out to my friends to get them to convince me to talk to him again they told him to shove it after they found out why I ghosted him. It's been a few months now I haven't regretted the decision. I told her not to tell anyone. So she told everyone. I've grown to learn that no secret is safe if it's shared with anyone. Even to someone you deem trustworthy. I don't tell any big secret to anyone. They will follow me to my grave. Two can keep a secret if one is dead. Got a secret can you keep it? When I realized the relationship was one-sided and they only cared about themselves. Yeah I had a relationship that was really great for a while. But over time I realized they just didn't care much for me anymore. It was always them needing something. Too many people like that out there that's for sure. Like me. But I don't have any other friends so I have to talk to her every day to not lose her. She pocket called me. Overheard her talking st about my personal issues that I had confided in her. Too much insult humor. Really fd my esteem. Edit. Since I can't possibly respond to all these and keep my sanity. We were friends for a while and it was almost always insult humor and that combined with a shitstorm of other things just got to me and I took it personally and ended up blowing up at them. Now I really don't have any way to talk to them and don't care anymore. I had a friend who could only do insult humor. It really wears on you after a while. And they usually can't take criticism about it either. It was only a joke. And such excuses. I grew up with my family mainly using insult humor. It super wore me down and I was super depressed all through middle and high school because of it. Every time I would ask them to stop they would be like, why can't you just take a joke Kelly Zerus? You're so touchy. For a long time there was a running joke. But also they thought it was true. That I was such a bh who never admitted when she was wrong. From every other source in my life that was not the case and certainly isn't now. Literally my sister started calling my dad, Papa Bear. My mom, Mama Bear. Herself, Baby Bear. And I was, Bitch Bear. It was FG constant. Finally when I had to move back in for a bit after college I snapped and told them it's not FG funny. They begrudgingly stopped but acted like I was so sensitive and you couldn't say anything around me for fear of upsetting me. It's much better now. But it was super shitty to grow up in. Edit. This got a lot more attention than I was expecting. After I moved to a different city. I had a serious conversation with my mom about everything and why I was still mad about it. After that she slowly changed her behavior. And as she's gotten older she has gotten much more empathetic my sister moved out and also realized how toxic our environment was and made a lot of empathy improvements herself i also grew up a lot and got much better at empathy overall we are a much more functional family glad you were able to put your foot down
I threatened to stop speaking to my sister in my thirties. Finally after that she made an effort to be nice to me. I wish I could have figured that out earlier in life. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more videos.